Welcome back, everyone. Despite the negativity among the fan base, the Lakers seem to be fairly confident heading toward training camp, focusing on internal improvement rather than external improvement, which, in my opinion, they are very likely to get too. After all, they are not really their real team last season. LeBron and Anthony Davis may have stayed healthy, which kind of made it feel like they were, but they had a very injury plagued team. I mean, between the four of Gabe Benson, Jared Vanderbilt, Cam Reddish, and Christian Wood, they missed and combined 200 total games. Yeah, not too good. And with those four being looked at to be primary rotation players for them, then I'm not sure how you think they would not be affected by that. They were each viewed as top 10 rotation players entering last season, and having to play without them made the Lakers become a very different team. Believe it or not, they were a top 10 defense up until late December, aka right before a majority of their team began getting hurt. Gabe Benson went down long before that, but Reddish initially got hurt around that time, Vanderbilt got hurt later in early February, and then Christian Wood not long thereafter. And with that being said, there is a lot that was left on the table with their team last season. They simply cannot become the team they wanted to be, and even without them, they are still able to finish 12 games above 500. And now imagine what they could do with a primary healthy team. Now, you obviously will never be completely healthy, as that's not realistic in the NBA, but again, I don't think many realize what they are dealing with. If you're playing without key role players for 200 plus combined games, then yeah, you are going to have a hard time being a top 8 seed. And yet, they were right on that borderline all season. But what could they do with a more healthy team? And not only that, but with more production from a few of their role players that simply underachieved last season. We are going to focus on two of them today, with that including Gabe Vincent along with Christian Wood, who really put the pressure on himself to have a pounce back year, making his social media posts let everyone know that he is quote unquote, coming back with a vengeance. How will that actually happen, and what will both he and Gabe Vincent have to do to accomplish it? We'll break it all down. Before we get too far into it though, brief channel update. I'm thinking about doing a brief Q&A at the end of every video going forward, meaning I'll pick out a few of your questions from a previous video and then address them in a later video. So drop your Laker, NBA, or even channel related questions in the comments down below, and hopefully I'll get to them. But without further ado, let's dive right into it. And to begin, yes, both Christian Wood and Gabe Vincent are healthy entering training camp. In fact, the only guy on their team that might not be is Rui Hachimura, with him kind of getting hurt during Olympic play, where he played for his home country of Japan by the way, and he got pulled due to lower leg discomfort, though that appears to have been more precautionary than anything. But again, Christian Wood and Gabe Vincent are healthy, and simply put, that is and was step number one for them. They played without Christian Wood for a combined 37 games if you factor in their 5 playoff games, and then without Gabe Vincent for 71 games. And yeah, that definitely hurt their team. Now, you might not think that much of them, but they are very important for certain matchups. For one, Gabe Vincent will likely be a regular within their closing lineup, which in my opinion, is far more important than their starting lineup. And during the brief time before he got hurt last season, he was already part of it, closing out all three of the healthy games he played over one of D'Lo or Reeves before getting hurt, and that really is telling of where he stood within the rotation. I mean, if you're being looked at to fill in for a member of their starting lineup during crunch time, then you are obviously valuable, and Gabe Vincent has definitely showed it too, being a good, pesky point of attack defender, along with a good corner three-point shooter, aka the kind of guard that you want around LeBron and Anthony Davis during crunch time. And then for Christian Wood, he might not have been a regular member of their closing lineup, but there was time and place for him within it, as whenever they played against a bigger team, that is when he often became more important. In fact, both him and Gabe Vincent were even used together during the first three games of the regular season, which turned out to be a very effective lineup for them, with the combination of D'Lo, Vincent, LeBron, AD, and Wood having a plus minus rating of plus 24 in only 12 minutes played, and that right there is their third highest rated lineup. Now, who knows that they would have remained effective throughout the entire season, but it obviously did work for them in certain matchups. And simply put, that option got taken away from them, which again, I think we tend to forget about. But now with them back and being healthy, what could we expect from them? And for Gabe Vincent, I think he will be looked at to fill a very similar role compared to early last season, with that once again being a primary bench player for them, along with being a go-to member of their closing lineups. However, he will need to prove that he can do it again. I think the defense will be a given for him, but he's gotta find his 3 point shot, let alone his shot in general. Again, we're only talking about 11 games played here, but he struggled mightily when it came to shooting the ball. Throughout that brief time frame, he shot only 30% from the field, 10% from 3, 
and then failed to make a corner three-point shot, definitely leaving a lot to be desired offensively, though I do think there is reason to believe that he can and will improve. After all, in the two years leading up to him joining their team, Gabe Vincent shot 35.1% from the three-point line, although nearly 40% on corner threes, and that was on nearly 700 attempts compared to only 28 of them last season, a way bigger sample to evaluate. In my opinion, he is significantly more likely to be that version of him rather than the one they got last season. Now, you never know for sure, but I would be willing to make that bet, given that he stays healthy anyways. And much like Christian would, I think that he will benefit from JJ Reddick's system, which I imagine will be better, and especially for role players compared to what Darvin Ham ran with their team, likely giving a guy like Gabe Vincent more opportunity. And I really don't think they need that much from him. What I would call a good year for him would be around 8 to 10 points per game, shooting above 40% from the field, over 35% from three, and then around 38 to 40% on corner threes, and then of course with him playing good defense, which I think would be a very realistic outcome for him. But how about Christian Wood? What will it take for him to truly come back with a vengeance? And well, I think it will begin and end with him shooting the ball a bit better. Definitely more overall involvement within their offense too, but he's simply gotta shoot the ball better. I mean, a majority of his three-point shots were fairly wide open ones last season. He simply was not able to knock them down. I don't know if it was the bright lights of LA or what, but that one came down to he himself, not something that you can blame on Darvin Ham alone. But again, the overall involvement was something you could. I guess you could factor in that into why he was struggling offensively, though that would be more inside the three-point line if you ask me, which would be a real thing to point to. I've mentioned it before, but they did a terrible job at taking advantage of him. I mean, I get making him a spot up shooter when he is sharing the court with AD, and he knew he would be filling that role coming in for them too, but then when he is not sharing the court with Anthony Davis, that is when they should have utilized him a bit more, and probably a lot more too. In my opinion, they let a talented offensive threat go to waste. He pretty much remained in that spot up shooter, floor spacing big kind of role no matter what they did, with only a little bit of post up sprinkled in for him here and there. And I think when JJ Reddick is watching back the tape, that is something that he will be very easily able to see. And I imagine it won't be difficult to point out. Of his 264 field goal attempts last season, 114 of them were 3 point shots. And that was the highest ratio of 3 point shots compared to field goal attempts so his entire career. Again, I get it. He was supposed to be a good floor spacing big for them, but that's not the only thing they can do. And I think that put him in a bad place mentally, often forcing shots to try and find a rhythm which eventually led to him getting benched. If you ask me though, I don't think it will be that difficult to unlock him again. By simply giving him more opportunity when AD is on the bench, that could go a long way in getting back the Christian Wood from prior years. Now, he will be the one that has to knock down those open 3 point shots, but I think that more involvement will help him get to a better place mentally. But with all of that being said, what do you guys think? How do you feel about the outlook for Christian Wood and Gabe Vincent entering the upcoming season? And how do you think JJ Reddick can unlock them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and hit that notification bell to never miss out when I upload a video. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.